Ubuntu, Debian, Arch, Fedora are great distros. But to get it working in Tamax requires extra steps. Also, as they work in Prout, they are slow. So instead of using these distros, we'll use Tamax directly to run apps and anything we want. Getting started with Chromium. In Tamax repo, we have Firefox but not Chromium. So we'll need to set up this TUR or Tamax user repository which by the way includes many useful packages and many of the apps we'll be trying in this video will be from this repo only. So to set this up, we just need to execute this one command pkg install tur-repo-y and that's it. Now just execute package install chromium dash y and this is one of the many apps we gonna try in this video as chromium is now installed let's give it a try for that we also need to have gui installed if you don't have that don't worry just hang with me we'll walk you through for now we'll start my vnc server and connect to it and here under applications internet we have chromium just click on that and here we have chromium running moving on to the next one a terminal based code editor turbo and to install that we'll execute pkg install turbo text editor by the way this package is also from the repo we installed earlier and now it's installed so just execute turbo and if you don't like this one we have vs code next in our list VS Code can be installed in two ways, either as an app just like we do in any other operating system or as a server on which I already have a video. Here we'll install it as an app, for that execute package install code -oss y And we are ready to launch one of the best code editor on our phone. And here it is. Isn't that crazy VS Code on our phone? VS Code no doubt is one of the best code editor exists. But it's kind of heavy. So that's the reason we have NeoVim here. If you don't know what it is, so NeoVim is a fork of Vim which is by the way one of the best code editor. And NeoVim is a fork of Vim but with added features. And can be configured as you want with Lua. I will not go deep into that here. For now, we'll quickly install that and then just execute nvim and here it is. Yeah, I know it's look bad, but what if I say that with some configurations this can be turned into this. Yeah, this can be configured like this for any language you are using like python, javascript, c++ and any other. Video link in description. But before you go and check them out, I have another great application here, GIMP, which is open source version of Photoshop. And installing it in Termux is as simple as executing this command. Then just launch it and here it is. Similarly, you can also install many other software like WineTrix, BoxWine, Inkscape, Blender, as this amazing repo includes all of this. And by the way, to get this amazing GUI set up in Termux, you can check out this video. And for the theme, I am using Fluent Theme. Link will be in description, go ahead and check them out. 